It's like Morse code. What up? It's Pat Tony, and this is Thrift Hall, a competitive fashion show where two contestants compete to see who styles it best on a budget. Today's episode, delivering Postmates to Rosario Dawson. I'm hungry. <laughs> Our contestants will be figuring out who has the best delivery boy outfit. Contestant number one, comedian Hannibal Bears. Victory is the only option. Contestant number two, comedian Jamar Neighbors. Hi. Who's gonna win this? I am. What? Contestants will go head to head for three rounds. A physical challenge, a competitive shopping spree, and finally a runway show judged by myself and Rosario Dawson. What are you wearing? This jacket. Will Smith will wear this in Fresh Prince, right? You look like a top rated soul cycle instructor. <laughs> Would this be your delivery boy look? I think so. We're rocking some more tie shorts. This is the highest I've gone above the knee in public. <laughs> did you thrift this? I sure did not. You did that? I did not. Will you be able to judge me objectively despite my hatred for your outfit? I'm gonna try my best to not take that into account. <laughs> but that's not all. The winner gets to choose an outfit for the loser to post on in their Instagram and they can never delete it. What? My Instagram ain't really popping like that anyway, so I lose on purpose just so I can put me something interesting. Have y'all ever delivered food? In my college town, Carbondale, Illinois. College students don't tip. You deliver food in the college town, that's just for the love of the game. Rosario Dawson, have you ever delivered food? I used to help my mom deliver the newspaper. That was like 15 years ago. You said that was 15 years ago? No, 25 years ago. I was ago. like, <laughs> you were in movies then. <laughs> Kids was already out. So when wow. you do get shit delivered to your house, do you tip? I tip on that. Maybe I should do cash just to make sure they get it. Is Postmates the sponsor of this show? I was told no. Postmates. <laughs> Those tips going to the Postmate person? We might have to do some back accounting. Comments, if you've ever worked for Postmates, let us know. Each of you begin with two minutes on the clock. If you want a little more time, I got a physical challenge for you. Ooh, You'll okay. get 30 seconds added to your clock if you win this round. Let's do okay. it. Physical challenge. You're at Rosario's door, delivering food. With the knock and a greeting. Show me how you do it. OK. Handle your first. It's Rosario Dawson. Oh, shit. it's Hannibal Burris. Here you go. Here's your food. I don't expect a tip. Don't worry about it. It's all right. You want to join? No. Cool. Then can I go with you? You want to just ride Dad. around in the four Focus? All right. I'm about to go to the roller <laughs> rink. Hitchhike. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Jamar Neighbors, you're up next. Cool. Hey. Oh, hey. What's up? Hi. Was you and he got game? Me? Yeah. Why? Is Denzel mean? I left this car. <laughs> Rosario Dawson, do you want to add 30 seconds to Hannibal's clock or Jamar's clock? Uh... Gotta go Hannibal. <laughs> Damn, I really wanted that 30 seconds. Hannibal, yeah, well, you get two minutes and 30 seconds to shop. Yeah. Jamari, two minutes to shop. That's up. As the winner of this round, you decide who goes out to shop first. Jamar going first. Jamar, this is what we call for you an uphill battle. Aw, oh, nuts. Round two, shopping spree. I'm still kind of unclear on the premise, show and everything, but of course I'm gonna win. That's what I do. I win shit. And if I don't win, then it's back to Compton for me. I'm not going back. Cut the camera. I'm about to steal some shit. All right, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Round two, shopping spree. Our contestants will be judged on their creativity, overall look, and adherence to the theme. Jamar Neighbors is up first with two minutes on his clock. Jamar, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You're about to be terrible. Remember, just grab shit. It's not gonna work out for you. I can see this working out for you, great. On your mark, get, get set, set, go! go! <laughs> okay, he's getting a lot of hats. Don't leave me! You're my daughter. Tossing her, here she comes. Ugh. <laughs> as much as I'm proud of myself, my throwing skills and delivering his daughter, I'm also a little worried that he's taking her with him. Hannibal, uh, what do you think about Jamar's run so far? I don't think his item selection is great. He just grabbed a teapot. <laughs> so I'm feeling very confident right now. 40 seconds left, Jamar. 
Can you imagine? I mean, I think he's trying to throw me off with this kind of avant-garde approach, but I'm not scared. 20 seconds! Oh, boy. He's gonna need some pants, at least. Okay. 10 seconds! Five seconds! Five! Five! Four! Three! Two! Uno! You see what this dude just bought? So I got this little teacup thing right here. Who can't use that? No, explain that. Well, you put water in it and then you pour water out of it. It's one of those little Jew hats, you know, but it's metal in case the war break out. Metal yarmulke, okay. And this is a whole baby. Is she tender headed? How come you don't brush her hair? I don't, you know, what? <laughs> and then we got this skate here, right here. Okay. Just the one? This other one right here. They're not the same size. I respect that, because you never see anybody do mismatched skates. I saw Hannibal's shorts, and I was up there like, I could do better than that. The blood picnic is coming up. This is just a green shirt because uh, it's nice. A state-of-the-art two-set set. You can make a lemonade stand or whatever. You can do a lot of stuff. But I would definitely wait till you woke up just to show you all this stuff that I got in this basket. And this is why you didn't win that extra 30 seconds. It ain't about winning an extra 30 seconds. It's about losing what? As your competition? You're threatened. I don't feel threatened. You're sweating. I feel very calm. Hannibal, Rosario, we just saw Jamar pick up a lot of Using those shorts was really smart because it ties in all of the options he chose for t-shirts. Didn't see any shoes. He has the roller skates. Oh, the roller skates. I'm kind of for that. That'd be unusual. Bringing really. his daughter. Yeah. I don't know that that actually gives him points. He was a bit rough with her. I feel like this has more to do with probably custody rather than it being like a father-daughter day. I feel bad for him that he has to compete against me. You know, you ever get a... a a whooping by your parents and they say, this hurts me more than it hurts you. <laughs> That's how this is about to feel. It's gonna hurt me to destroy him more than it hurts him. I hate you for making me do this. I love that dude. Next up, Hannibal. I need to win because winning is a must. I will not lose, intimidate the competition and just be generally more excellent. I'm gonna crush it, I'm gonna destroy it. I'm a champion. Hannibal's up next with two minutes and 30 seconds on his clock. Ooh. Ready, set, go! Okay, let's get this. All right, we're gonna start right here. Look at that, okay. Got a bath rug in the cart. He need them 30 seconds. Okay, boom. All right, all right, all right, back up, sweat it. Oh, we got some hoodies, just in case it's cold. Color scheme sticking to gray. It's bland. Two minutes left. Oh, ah! He can't even drive the damn cart. Okay. One minute, 30 seconds left. One minute, 30 seconds, all right. Oh, it's broke, that. See, I'm so goddamn strong, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, gotta get some pants in there. Can't fit them damn pants. Couple times, just in case. What in the job interview? 30 seconds left. 30 seconds, 29. Good find. Hats. Five, four, four three, two, one. Was that a knife? What did you just get? Let's see Hannibal's haul. All right, so since this is for a Postmates delivery, right, gonna bring my own mat. Presentation is everything. I step in, I come with the delivery, and I say, hello, how are you? Just consider it. I got some regular jeans, you know what I mean? Maybe an alternative look with some red corduroys. Everybody always appreciates a fresh toothbrush. I say I got a toothbrush and a rinsing cup for you after the meal. Dental hygiene's very important. She don't know where my hands been, so I got some goddamn gloves. It's a red shirt with mustaches on it. Oh, for lift. And then multiple ties. Probably wear two ties. Like I'll be the new two chains, but with ties. Saucony or Sacconis. You ever order a pizza and they didn't cut that shit up? I got you. You gonna let a man pull out a knife in front of you? Stop. Hey, stop. Hey, and then it's just some shorts. Just the case she got a pole. No explanation, it's just dope. There might be lead lining in that hat. That's my haul. I'm a champion. You just saw Hannibal's haul. Yeah. What do you guys think? When he, when he threw down the mat and then he stood on it. Just consider it. I like that, I ain't gonna lie. Because he's gonna probably take that mat with him, so he's not even leaving his dirt on my mat. That's like amazing. Might be a different mat for every home. Right. You got a lot of ties, very professional. Yeah. Rosario, how do you feel about the knife? Kind of mm. scary and dangerous if you, you know? haven't ordered a knife to be brought to your house, yeah, to yeah, have some random person who now suddenly knows your address bringing it to your house. 
The gloves I thought were really interesting. It might be a germaphobe. Might be a germaphobe. That might be the reason why he brought his own mask. Is it too late to put this hat in consideration? <laughs> Round three, fashion show. Hannibal, you're up first. I am prepared to be scared. Okay. And impressed. Two inspired. of my favorite moods. Come on out. Can you please tell us more about your delivery man look? Let's start from top to bottom. The hat, if she wants to freestyle rap, she can make beats on the hat easily. Okay. Oh, wow. You mentioned they had bristles. I didn't realize they were on each finger. Feels great. Yeah. Look at that. I wouldn't do that on the walk up. It's just different options. Brush my teeth after the barbecue. And then this look, put the vest under the shirt, mix it up a little bit. Well, we are looking for creativity, and uh, I ain't never seen a like that. Can you tell us how you tied the tie in? We use ties so much as just ties, and we don't really consider they might have other ambitions. I decided to give this tie a chance to be a belt and hold a backup shirt. If I don't want to rock these gloves, Wow. Usage, multi usage. Now the shoes. It is classic gray shoe. It's all chill. Hannibal, can you give us a little walk? <laughs> wow, it looks just as good from the back as it does mm -hmm. from the front. Now imagine this man shredding up to your door. This makes me feel really good about having the Ring app and being able to see him approaching from a distance. So if there's any issue, I can send it out to my neighbors and alert them. Yeah. Hannibal, I can't thank you enough. This means a lot. It's like Morse code. Uh, Jamar. They not ready. You look ready. I am ready. I feel ready. Y'all ready? Jamar neighbors, Bring please. <laughs> Boy! Oh, they didn't think I had a plan. They was looking at me crazy. Why you got them skates? Why you got your daughter? Why you got that teacup? Why you got that tuck? Oh, why you got that tuck? <laughs> Can we get a little walk? I won't just give you a walk. I'm gonna give you a glide. Can you hold my daughter, please? Got her an outfit. I did. So I got these skates. Yes, they are two different sizes. It ain't about that. It's about how you roll up and present yourself. Shot for you. <laughs> Patron. Well, I guess the tip's for me. You know what I'm saying? The hats, you know, regular purple. You know, fresh princey. Uh-oh, but then I tell you I had love for the Jews. <laughs> See, Hannibal Burris didn't think I had a plan. But it was right up under my hat. Can I throw in some skepticism slash hate? Yeah, yeah, right after you clean my car windows with them goddamn gloves. Listen, man, you got these skates, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. skating up for the delivery? Or are you driving up and putting skates on in the car like a weirdo? See, the pedals in my car, they made just with skates. So they got, like, skate bra braces in them. All right, respect. Can you tell us about the shirt in your ass? See, you know, it get hot. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> it do get hot out there when you post mate. And your daughter, why is she with you? <laughs> It's hard out there for a single father, you know? Her mom don't want me in her life, so I say, hey, I'm gonna take my baby on the job with me. No, this ain't American Ninja Warrior. Don't do no goddamn sad storyline to try to get ratings and win hearts. Play a regular angle, dog. All right, man, real talk, that ain't even my daughter. I found her, too. It's not your daughter. Nah, man, she don't even look like me. Look at all that hair. And I'm a Jew, hello. She's black. You can have her too if you want her, Rosario. I deliver babies too. <laughs> More shot? Yes. Thank you. Thank y'all. This is, I don't know who kid this is. <laughs> Rosario Dawson, we have to choose a winner. We got a really tough decision to make. Clearly. Let's talk about Handel's outfit. He was definitely bringing a lot of his own personality, but it didn't feel like he really loved his job. At least he didn't whip out the knife. And the pecs were really impressive. The pecs were the, impressive. Them. I like the vest under the shirt. Very I'm creative. I'm very moved by very that, creative. actually. I feel like I want to see more of that. I like the tie tying in the color. The blue gloves and the neon. There's an accent that was happening there. He has an eye. The bristles. Mm -hmm. Probably gives him a good grip. He's not gonna drop your food. Now that he's giving me my food, he can brush my teeth afterwards. Kind of a cool thing. We gotta talk about that hard-ass hat. The music element was pretty special. Could you see yourself freestyling? I could as... definitely freestyle interpretive dance to that. Yeah, I was feeling it. What happened to the mat? What happened to the mat? The, the welcome, welcome mat. mat. So now he just is rolling up with all his dirt. I'm supposed to bring the mat twice and shit. 
I'm impressed he picked his shoe size. I'm very impressed by it, too. Yeah, it really came together. It looks really good. Let's talk about Jamar's entire outfit. There was a lot of ingenuity in regards to how he put it all together. That brightness, you really see him coming. Yes. He seems very confident, unafraid. Came rolling up with alcohol. The t-shirt and the anus, never seen nothing like never it. Never seen it before. Very creative. He's got that forethought about making sure you don't drop that booty sweat mm -hmm. on my doorstep. I trust the man with a shirt in his ass. Now let's talk about his child. Now we find it's not his daughter, but a child he found on the side of the road. But I actually thought that was really touching, that he made a matching outfit with her. That he did actually insist on calling her his daughter all that time before giving us the real story that he'd actually just found her. I adopted a little girl, so again, that just really hit my heart straight. I feel that. Rosara Dawson, we need to decide who's it gonna be. I'm not particularly excited about either of these two people having my address and phone number and rolling up on me like that. This feels like a PSA on why they need a uniform. We definitely need a uniform at Postmates. I've seen these guys, but uh, yeah. today, we gotta choose one. Hannibal, Jamar, to the floor. I love what y'all have done. Rosario, the floor is yours. Terrible decision to have to make. I think both of you are incredible personal shoppers. You rolled up, literally. You got a lot of extras that you're throwing in there. You're really working for that tip. Hannibal, you might be like an incredible handyman or like genius that is being untapped and this just doesn't feel like it's really bringing out your best. You don't want to have this job, I think, anymore. It feels maybe a little bit beneath you. So I'm gonna go with the single dad. I regret it immediately. He brought a baby. <laughs> yeah. How did he win? That's not something you want in a delivery situation. Hannibal, Jamar, the winner, is going to pick out an outfit for you, the loser, to wear and post to your Instagram. You're still my favorite comic. Even in defeat, there's a valuable lesson learned. That lesson is never enter thrift store contests because they're very biased. I just want to say uh, to all the single fathers out there, man, I see y'all out there. You like it, Tall? Follow our show page on Facebook. Thank you very much, Rosario, Hannibal, and Jamar for f***ing with us today. Comment below on who you thought should have won. What should the next episode's theme be? Unsexy Halloween, Dog Park Daddy, Meme Lord Funeral, or Cool 90s Dog? It doesn't really feel that bad to lose, to be honest. It's low stakes. Goddamn thrift store show. I mean, I do feel like I was the true winner. They got blinded by the roller skates. So it was bias judges, and you'll notice at the beginning, I asked Tony, will you be able to judge me objectively despite my hatred for your outfit? Anyways, it is what it is. Life moves on. You take small obstacles, you overcome them, bounce back. Everybody.